take a look at this image. How does it make you feel? Does it bring back any memories? If so, are they fond memories? Uh, yeah, it actually reminds me of this time I took a camping trip with my dad and brother. We sat around telling each other stories and I think I learned more about my dad than I ever had. Thanks. Now, could you please put these on? And just remember, you are completely safe. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, how, how long does this last? Almost done. You're doing great. Oh. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of dizzy. Can we call it? It's, 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 it's too high. Too high. <laughs> How do you feel? Tired. Uh, it's hot in here. Was it, was it always this hot? C can I get a glass of water, please? Of course, of course. Just one more thing. Could you tell me another story based on this photograph? Yeah, um... It reminds me of a time that uh, my mom walked in on me and I had, I had porno mags out. And you did great. Now please just fill out this questionnaire and I'll go get you that water. Ben? Yeah. Ms. Robinson? Hi. Um, this is Cora Robertson, and Cora, this is Dr. Ad Adeline Cruz. I mean, I've been bragging to her about this year's quality applicants, and I, I thought that she'd like to meet some of them. Can you tell me a bit about your study? Certainly. I was fascinated by Dutton and Aaron's study on the misattribution of arousal, in which one confuses the physiological sensations related to fear as sexual or romantic arousal, but in a real-life setting instead of a bridge. Maybe there are practical applications that we're missing. If you can pull this off, this fellowship is yours. <laughs> He's not kidding. He only recommends his most promising students to my practice. I look forward to one day working with you. Oh, Pam, don't let him in. Hi, is Cora home? Of course she is. She'll be happy to see you, I'm sure. <laughs> They're beautiful, thanks. I will give you lovebirds some privacy. Jason, it's not a good time hey, for me right uh, now. Before you say anything more, can I just say that I had a really great time last week, and I know you said we weren't a good match, but I disagree. Just give me another chance to prove it. Uh, hello? You know what I really want to do tonight? Let's watch a horror movie. What about Paranormal Activity? I don't really like that type of movie. Just me nightmares. Um, my pastor says they're doorways. Oh, I'll protect you. Please.
see. That wasn't so bad, was it? Time for bed. Well, last night could be described as a step in the right direction. Subject D's physiological response to fear was, shall we say, very promising. Time for an escalation. Hey. Good morning. Mm. Last night was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, why don't we keep the good times coming? <laughs> morning breath. <laughs> What do you mean? Well, since it's your day off, I thought you might want to come with me to Coney Island. We can make a day of it. See, I told you we'd be a good fit. <laughs> Let's do it. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Just, just the one, but... Oh, that's kind of cool. We're pretty, we're pretty different. We're like four years apart, so... Hey, hey, hey. Well, why don't we go on the Thunderbolt? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I'll stay down here. Come on, it's not going to be any fun by myself. Well, I'm not very good with heights. Oh, come on, if it gets to be too much, you can just close your eyes. Come on, let's go. Come on! Okay, okay. Hey. Can we talk about this? Subject D's excitement resurfaced at Coney Island. He shows signs of increased interest. Dilated pupils, elevated heart rate. Let's test commitment. Can we use misattribution to make him fall in love on an accelerated timeline? I was like, wait, I know that guy. He was like, we went to school together, and he was asking me for a recommendation, and like, give me a book that'll make it seem like I read. And I was like, I remember Harold. Let's go. I'm going to get a tattoo. <laughs> what? Now? Yeah, let's go. Maybe you can get one too. Uh, no, I'm good. I, I, I don't do needles unless it's for a flu shot. I could use the moral support. And it doesn't have to be some big thing. You can just get something little. I'll make it worth your while. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I just, I just think I'm going to go to bed. I just wanted to do something for once with my boyfriend that's not just the typical dinner in a movie. Cora, leave the poor man alone. He doesn't like needles. Maybe you could respect his boundaries. No, 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 it's, it's okay. I'll, I'll go with you. You do care. Oh, this is gonna be the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Just remember to keep breathing, stay still, right? All right. Wait, no, stop. I, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Dude, you gotta stop doing that. Baby, please. I just wanna experience this with you. I promise it'll be fun and the pain won't last forever. Plus, we'll be bonded. That's it. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Go. some ginger ale. We can always try again. Maybe next time we'll get some weed so you're not so in your head. Or something stronger. The Institute has some drugs, sanctioned of course, that we can use for particular studies. I'm sure I could swipe you a little something. I can't do this anymore. 
And now we can go, it's not that far, see? I'm talking about you. I can't go out with you anymore. You always make me do things like this that I don't want to do. This has been the most stressful two weeks. Steph was right. This relationship is so toxic. I, I've got to go home. Just leave me alone. It really is for the best. Your whole report was gonna read like that of Dr. Frankenstein. Unethical and absurd. It's all your fault. <laughs> now you know that the scientific method requires that a study be repeatable. No self-respecting professional would touch yours with a 10-foot pole. It was going fine until you got him thinking I was toxic. You were. <laughs> God, you didn't even like him. Poor guy. At least now we can find someone that's actually into him. And your chances of getting the fellowship just went up. I'm sure that wasn't part of your motivation at all, to sabotage me. If your thesis is that strong, surely that'll get you some goodwill with Dr. Acero. Just ask for an extension. You don't get it. I really did like him. He was so sweet. And okay, maybe it started as a lie, but it didn't end up that way. So you really liked him? Yeah. And I think I know just what to do to get him back. Mm. Don't run. I just want to talk. I thought about what you said, and I agree. It was unfair of me to force you to do daring stunts that make you uncomfortable. I was putting myself first by forcing you to do my favorite activities. If you give me another chance, we'll do things that you like. Olive branch? <laughs> You know, bowling's not that boring. I think by the end of the night, you'll see that you don't always have to throw yourself off of the great heights to have fun. Oh, I know I'll have fun. I'll be with you. Oh my god! What do you want? Money? I can't believe you did that. That was amazing. I took some self-defense classes in college. You're pretty amazing. <laughs> Whenever I'm with you, I feel so alive. <laughs> I think I'm falling for you. Sorry, uh, I'll, I'll take these two to the room. You're paying for my medical bills. 